Okay, so some of my viewers from my streams have asked me to make a video about the recipes and foods that I use, ingredients to cook up uh, the meals that I use. So this is going to be a video about what I use. A lot of it focuses around using the dragon horn to increase duration to 30 minutes. So with that, let's get started. I hope you guys enjoy the video. This is probably the meal that I use the most is the hasty meal to run fast. There's a couple different variations um, how to make this. So we'll show you this. We got the two fleet lotus seeds plus two swift violets and one dragon horn. This will give you the level three for 30 minutes, as you can see here. And then there's another variation, still using the fleet lotus seed but using three of them this time in one rush room, one dragon horn. So if you don't have maybe, you know, swift violets, but you do have rush rooms, you can use this. Make sure you check out my video for locations of those seeds. Then we'll move on to the attack meals for level three for 30 minutes. A couple different variations on this as well. We've got the three armored porgies with the one dragon horn. Um, our armored porgies are very easy to um, fish up if you know where to go. And then the next variation of that, if you don't have the armored porgies or you don't feel like going out and catching some, but you have razor claw crabs on you, you can do four razor claw crabs plus a dragon horn. Um, so a lot of these recipes flip flop for the defense, you know, instead of using the mighty porgy, you use the armor porgy. And then vice versa with the crab as well. But you'll see that in the video, but it's just kind of common sense. We also got the four mighty carps plus one dragon horn. Again, this is going to give you level three attack for 30 minutes as well. And then another variation we have is the mighty bananas, which those are very easy to come by. So just take four of those, toss in a dragon horn. And once again, level three for 30 minutes. Then the final one for the attack is going to be the four razor shrooms, one dragon horn. Like I said, just use the opposite to switch it up for defense food. You know, mighty porgy versus armored porgy. And same thing with the mushrooms. If the mushroom says it's a defense enhancing mushroom, then just use four of them, use a dragon horn, you'll get the 30 minutes. So here we go with the armored porgy. So just like the mighty porgy for the attack, we're going to use three of the armored porgies, one dragon horn. Then of course next up would be the same thing with the crab. Instead of using the razor claw crab, we're now going to use the defensive version, which is the iron shell crab. So it would be four of those, one dragon horn. Well, and then now, and there's a couple other variations. You can figure those out as well. We're going to go into the stamina refreshing things. This is how to recover stamina. Comes in useful um, if you're swimming and running out or flying and running out or you're doing the Lionel attack method that I use from the air. And Dura Carrots is probably the best one because for each one you cook, you get um, all your green stamina wheels back plus a little bit of reserve. The more you cook, the more you get in reserve. Five carrots would give you two full yellow reserves. I like to stick with just one. I think it's a waste to use any more than that. We also have the fish version of this so we can take three stamina bass to replenish um, our three green circles. So if you've maxed out your stamina, you have three rings, cook up three of these, it'll fill up all three. And then lastly, we have the Endure Shroom. Um, just cook up one, get the full stamina recovery, all of your green rings, plus a little bit in reserve. So those are the best stamina ones that I recommend. Then we also have um, how to replenish hearts. There's several different 
versions of this. Hardy Durin is the most, or I should say the easiest to farm up. For each one of these you cook, you're going to get full recovery plus four temporary hearts. So if you cooked up five, you would get 20. So cook as many as you need based on how many permanent hearts you have. Big Hardy Radish, same deal, full recovery. But this one's going to give you five temp hearts for one use. So the max you could get would be 25 temp. Don't use any more than you need to. Hardy Rash, this was what I used if I make this because it gives three temp hearts and I have 27 permanents, so I only need three. This one makes the most sense if you have those on hand. But the Hardy Durin are so easy to get, you can just use those. Then the big Hardy Truffle is the same as the Hardy Durian. Plus four temp hearts for each one cooked, you know, full recovery. We know how that goes. Uh, next up, we're going to talk about cold resistance. Um, level two is the max that we found here. Um, Twelve and a half minutes let you endure that cold for a little bit so you don't have to wear cold gear. Um, five sun shrooms is going to be the recipe for this. And then we also have the uh, heat resistant version of that coming up, which is the same thing. It's going to be level two. 12 and a half minutes and of course that's going to be five chill shrooms this allows you to not have to wear gear that way you can keep on like your attack set or defense armor pop one of these instead when you're out in those environments but i hope this video was helpful for you guys as i said it was requested by some of my viewers in my live stream so i decided to whip that up for you guys these are the recipes I use. There's plenty of other stuff out there, but I think these are the best ones. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. This is Tease Monkey. I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, be ready for my live streams as they do happen uh, at least once a day usually.